friends, it's Amber from Amber Plans Her Day and I'm coming on to do a Easter plan with me um, kind of preparation page. I'm gonna be using Spring Essentials for some Easter designs and illustrations as well as holiday quotes, which releases this Friday, March 15th at 8 a.m. Mountain Time on AmberPlansHerDay.com. It is full of all of the quotes you need for all of your planning. And I'm also going to use Mojo Jojo Plans pastel boxes. So I think to start, I'm going to hand letter Easter um, baskets or Easter plans. Probably Easter baskets because I'm going to mostly plan what to put into baskets. Um, on this page, I'm just trying to pick out a color. It's a little bit too dark for this. Ooh, that's not a bad color. I think I'm going to do these two. Okay, we're going to do, first of all, Easter. 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 Do I want to say baskets? Easter. Plans? No, plans isn't right because like, of course we're going to do an egg hunt and I'm going to have like a box of what we're going to put in the eggs. Um, but maybe just like Easter gifts. Yes. I feel like this is fine. Easter gifts. I am obsessed with these two colors from Archer and Olive Calliographs. I have not, I was just looking at buying more colors and I did not see them on the website. I only saw one pack. I was totally shocked. Cotton Candy and Dusty Mint are the colors that I have here, but I don't know. I don't know where they went. Okay, I'm gonna, I think, put these tulips in the corner um, up here, just like that. And then I wanna see holiday quotes. I'm gonna do, this is actually adorable. No bunny loves me like Jesus. I'm gonna put that right there next to the tulips as well. And then let's do, let's get into these pastel boxes. I'm going to put one, let's do, I'm probably gonna put three boxes across the front of it. I'm gonna put three boxes across the top here. Do that one. I just wanna separate those colors a little bit. And then maybe a pink. I'm also trying to see what matches this best. I think this pink is good. I probably could have put four across, but that's okay. And then, I don't know, I'm second, second guessing some of this. I think I'm gonna put them a little bit closer over here. And then I'm gonna put a Um, sticker on this side, a decorative sticker. What I'm going to put in these three boxes are three different types of items for their Easter baskets. Most of our kids' Easter baskets are going to look the same. 
and I know I've done it in the past where I've done like every kid differently, but because they are so much the same items, I'm thinking I'm going to do something like this candy. Candy, maybe like a toy, and maybe a, I don't want to say like a need. I want to say like, I don't know if it's practical is the right word either. This is going to be toys. Toys. And this, mostly for Easter, I do like outside toys as the weather starts to warm up. Maybe chalk maybe some sort of airplane toy, something like that. Um, but I, because Easter, maybe like a book, different things like that is what I want in this category, but I don't know what to name it. So that might take me a minute to decide. But then I am going to do maybe the blue. What do we think? A blue double box. Should I put it in the middle? Why not? And then we're going to do a quote that says hunt the eggs kind of right here. And then this is going to be called egg. Fillers. Egg fillers. Okay. I'm still trying to debate what exactly I want to call this topic. Like books, maybe something they need, like a clothing item, some sort of maybe like not maybe not a Bible, but like some sort of like faith based item. Maybe I will just like call it a need. needs which like again it really isn't like a need that they have it's just um something that they could you know have as a need okay then let's do at least one more quote maybe over here and then some other decor stuff and then we'll get to writing in it let's do i feel like I love this one. Forget the carrots, bring me the chocolate bunnies. That's just adorable. And I think I'm going to put a chocolate bunny on this side with like a mini chocolate egg situation. Let's cut off this extra. right there. Then I think I want to put um, this egg here just for that. I think I'm going to move this picture of Jesus up just a bit. Um, I think I'll put it right here just to kind of break that up a little bit. I might not put anything here because I feel like it's pretty good. Okay. I mean, this is such a simple spread, but having holiday quotes and a little bit of Easter decor just brings all of it together. So let's go ahead and fill this out. My kids love peeps which I feel like is such a fun um, candy for this time of year. We definitely are going to have a chocolate bunny. Um, and then, oh, like, a, like Robin's eggs. Those are so good too. Now toys, we are going to do chalk. 
we might do like a bath paint because those are always so fun and our kids love bath paint. I might do some sort of remote control car for the boys. I don't know. I'm just gonna do outdoor toys. And that will probably fill up even more. Needs, I am gonna do some sort of faith based book and then maybe another book and then um, maybe some sort of clothing item that they need. Now egg fillers, this is where I really want to get original. I'm gonna do coins, cash, um, like a date card. I think our older girls will really like that. I don't, the youngers might be like, why do I have a piece of paper in my egg? But I think that they would really like it. Um, and then I'm gonna kind of put this like, uh, like um, activities. And then I just remember when I was a kid, I found a dog bone in an Easter egg and I ate it because I thought that it was like candy or whatever. It was the most disgusting thing ever. And that's like when I started learning like, oh, we could also put other things in, um, into Easter eggs besides just candy. Of course we'll do candy and then I might like do like non chocolate so that hopefully it doesn't melt. And then I am gonna go to buy plastic eggs. Okay. And I think that that's it. This is, I mean, it's a good start at least. I like some of this may fill up more than what it is right now, but I feel like it's a great kind of starting point for what we need. Typically what I end up doing is going to Five Below or the Dollar Tree or something like that, even Walmart, and looking at kind of their selection and seeing what we have available to choose from so that whenever I do choose, um, you know, I can make sure I'm picking something that I know the like um, versus just being like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna get this and then I can't find it. So sometimes I let it just be free and playful and fun, um, just like going and looking in the stores. So that is this Easter gift page. I have this tab here in the back. I wanna say I got this off of Etsy. It's pretty thin frosted. Um, cover and I keep all of my extras pages in there in my planner so that I can keep track of all of this stuff. I have our spring bucket list, cannot wait to decorate eggs, all the things. So it's just going to be back here so that whenever I need it, I'll be able to see it and have it. I hope that this video was helpful for you to see different ways to create filler pages for your planner, whether that's tracking different events or gift tracking or anything like that. Um, it's a really fun way to use some of your stickers that you might not be able to use everything in your planner. As a reminder, Spring Essentials is available on the website now. Holiday Quotes releases this Friday, March 15th at 8 a.m. Mountain Time on AmberPlanterDay.com. You definitely do not want to miss that sticker book because it is um, full of some really, really amazing quotes and stickers for all year planning. Over 20 holidays are represented in that. If this video was helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos of mine. And I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>